Heavenly Father, coming to this message, this worship, this fellowship. Good morning. Yahweh Rasta. It's been a while since I did Proverbs. From the top of my head, the book of Proverbs is an invitation to wisdom. It's really for the non-believer because we believers understand the start of all wisdom is seeking the Lord. The book starts out with an invitation to the fool, which is someone uh, who's uh, too smart, uh, doesn't need God, uh, an intellect type person, prideful, uh, a mocker, someone who um, is uh, scor scorns God. You know, God doesn't exist. You guys are nuts believing in God. You believe in that stuff? And then a simple person. Uh, someone like me would be a simple person. Someone who believes, um, you know, everybody, uh, trust everybody, who doesn't really, um, you know, know uh, hate. Uh, well, at first, but at some point in life, you realize that um, there's some <laughs> wicked people out there um, that don't have love, don't know love. So, the book of Proverbs, uh, is is written by Solomon inspired by the Holy Spirit and taken keep in mind that Solomon uh, when he was uh, younger uh, he wrote songs of Solomon which is all kind of uh, you know lovey dovey type stuff and then Proverbs is uh, he's middle-aged uh, he's got wisdom uh, on life and family and then Ecclesiastes Ecclesiastes is uh, when he's older and he realizes after having, you know, something like 900 concubines that it was all worthless. It's all meaningless without God. He, um, you know, he got a little out there uh, setting up uh, temples to worship some of his wives' um, gods and deity, uh, uh, goddesses. Uh, and then he brings it back and, and uh, you know, Solomon, the wisest man in the world. So I encourage Proverbs. Um, it's a tough read, but I would say... If, if you're a young man, um, you read Proverbs chapter 5 uh, and, through 9. It's, it's against an adulterous wo woman, right? Her, her legs lead down to hell. Um, stay clear from her, her doorway. It is death. Um, and then read chapter 31, which is uh, a godly wife. You know, a, a chick that gets up early. She... Uh, you know, she sows some seeds, she buys a farm. I, I'm not gonna be able to flip to it, but it's, it's all this great stuff about a, a woman that is a godly woman. So dear Heavenly Father, I pray Holy Spirit, you go. Oh Lord, let them desire your word. You are wisdom. Your word is everything. Your word is your son, Jesus Christ. I pray that the word of God and the Holy Spirit fully sanctify my friends, my family, and beyond. Their minds in the Word of God. Their bodies in proper nutrition and health. Like Daniel, not to eat of the Nebuchadnezzar's, you know, the, the evil king's plate, stuff sacrificed to different gods, but but healthy food, like, you know, today, like clean, clean food, not this, this stuff they pollute our food with our spirit our spirit is just a holy spirit sanctified by the holy spirit so i pray holy spirit you go and our souls our souls will go on forever we will remember we will recognize each other and, and we're going to reason so you, you want to get your the things that you love uh up front in your life and the things that you don't love you want to rid that stuff because unfortunately i i guess you know <laughs> There's lots of toxins out there that we need to rid. So I pray, I pray God, amen, peace.